Rivalry Week always feels different and there's always more at stake, it feels like. And especially for us in 2005, we were the number one team in the country defending a two-time defending champ going for a third and they were a top 10 team at the time and really the best team we had faced from Notre Dame over that course of two to three years. There's always an extra added motivation to go out and to win that game uh, because it's usually bragging rights, not only for the players, but for the fans as well. It just felt different. It was their Super Bowl and, and that's how they treated it and that's how game day felt uh, that Saturday. I'll never forget kind of waking up and looking outside and just feeling the electricity, feeling the excitement. I want to say this about that game. It was really a poorly executed game for us, and especially by me. I had one of my worst games of the season. Notre Dame is really having a lot of success. Really caught us off guard with some plays and some schemes and some things that we probably didn't prepare for or we just, you know, didn't see coming. That game and a couple interceptions, it was going back and forth, and then the two-minute drill. We got into a third down. Reggie picked up a third down, which is kind of one of those plays that no one talks about, but it was third and four, third and five, and he got six yards, which moved the change, stopped the clock again. Matt drops back, I think to throw a football, he scrambles to the sideline, gets knocked out of bounds, ball flies out, but there's time on the clock. And that's when they storm the field, but the ref, you can say he's stopping the clock at the one yard line. The refs are trying to get people off of the field. Uh, we had all this time to kind of decide what play we wanted to run. Uh, there was eight seconds left on the clock, I believe. We're on the one yard line and we had plenty of time in that moment to figure out, okay, are we gonna clock it? So snap the ball and just throw it on the ground to, to huddle up and call one more play. Or should I quarterback sneak and go for the win? And then I looked to Pete Carroll, who's signaling the clock signal. And I, and I did one of these. And one of these meant, and I kind of did it like this so they wouldn't see, one of these meant, should I go for it? Is, is it my call, basically? And I, I think Pete goes like, like this. I turn to Matt and I say, what are you gonna do? And he says, I'm gonna sneak it. And at that moment I was like, oh damn. <laughs> Either this is gonna be one of the greatest plays ever, or we walking out of the stadium with a loss. And literally, that's what, that's what I said. And he goes, all right, I got you. I never saw any doubt in Matt's face. Um, I never let him know that there was any doubt inside of me. I'm pretty sure both of us had a lot of doubt in that moment. I'll never forget, I get up to the line and I see like nine Notre Dame defenders just like right here. They know it's gonna be a quarterback sneak. We know it's gonna be a quarterback sneak. At that point, it's just about who wants it more. So I snapped the ball and that's when just like two or three seconds, I have no idea what happened. His initial surge gets kind of knocked backwards towards me. And so me being the competitor that I am, all I could think about was helping my teammate get into that end zone. And so I didn't even think, I just reacted. And I ran up to him, pushed him, gave everything I had in my body, every ounce of energy I had, pushed him back across the line. And I swear to this day, I didn't know he pushed me in until about two minutes later when we're, or after the game we're celebrating, he's like, I pushed your ass in there, you know, whatever. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but, and I'm like, I know, I know, and I, I didn't know. I had no clue until I watched it back on film. I just remember jumping up and down with excitement. Um, also, there was a sigh of relief that the game was over. I remember even being in tears, you know, hugging my teammates, hugging anybody. I was trying to hug somebody, anybody. I didn't care who it was. There was like a handful of guys on our team that were crying in the locker room, and it wasn't like the big, it was like, like the one tear cry that, like you just can't control it. You're so emotional. You're so almost like emotionally drained that it just starts flowing and you can't control it. That's what our team looked like after that game. It was pretty incredible. There's something to be said for when you give 110% on the field of battle and you literally leave everything on the football field. It is truly a game of inches and sometimes it comes down to the last second on the clock and that's what makes this game so special. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.